We are so excited to be telling you about the 2020 term of the School of Wizardry. Our program will be offered via distance learning rather than in person because wizards believe our school should be open to all. The current pandemic prevents safe participation on site for those who are at higher risk of infection, either themselves or members of their household. But through the magic of wizarding distance learning, everyone can participate even if you're not local. The School of Wizardry has been hosted at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fort Myers in Southwest Florida since 2012. While our campus has become sacred grounds for generations of students this year, we will be using Muggle technology to bring the magic to you. Rest assured that the Forbidden Forest, the Great Hall, and the Courtyard of Nope will be safe and sound for the return of students when we are able to assemble in person again. How is this going to work? So everything is moving online. We will have our sorting hat ceremony online, we will have owl posts and howlers, and we will still be doing all of the really magical community building that is so central to our program. Each student wizard will be sent a box of supplies with everything they need for our term together. Everything will be packaged individually, organized by date and time of activity, so our students know when to open each thing. Um, and the best part is that we are planning this carefully so that there is no parent or adult involvement necessary for our students to participate. Um, lessons, meetings, everything is designed for our wizarding students to be in, independent and to empower them to have control over their own participation in the program. And our activities are designed to have as little mess as possible, hopefully none at all. And everything will be individually packaged for each child, even when there are siblings in the household to make sure everything is labeled separately. Our Zoom gatherings will be protected with passwords and they will be monitored at all times by adults. And we will be following the best safe practices when we use breakout times or any session for small group activities. We will make sure there are two background checked adults in every space. The Unitarian Universalist Church of Fort Myers and the Unitarian Society of Northampton and Florence are partnering this year because distance is not an obstacle when we do social um, distance learning. So we will get an opportunity to make new friends and connect with new faces and expand the powerful and wonderful community of the School of Wizardry. From Monday, July 29th through Friday, July 3rd, our students will come together to jump into a world of wizardry and magic through house meetings, classes, and activities. Each day, they'll contemplate different values, house virtues, and build community. Here are the houses of the School of Wizardry, both north and south. You'll notice that they are not the same as Hogwarts houses because in fact, we are not Hogwarts. Um, each house has a virtue and each of the members of those houses will get to learn more about those virtues throughout the week. Phoenix Fire's virtue is hope, Wave Rider is peace, Wind Horse is love, and Stone Dragon is faith. House meetings will include activities like making a house pennant, scavenger hunts, and other group building activities. Our program involves values-based teaching and lessons. Every day we begin our morning assembly by lighting a rainbow chalice and we have a flame, an individual flame for each of the seven Unitarian Universalist principles. Um, and our house point system, which we have adopted from our sibling school of Hogwarts, we use that to reinforce these principles and reward our wizarding students for being outstanding community members at the school. And throughout the week, we also center our lessons and several of our meetings on daily themes. And so each day of the week, our afternoon classes focus on a different theme that allows student wizards to explore their powers within and without. 
Throughout the week, our daily schedule is as follows. From 9 to 10 a.m., we have a school-wide morning assembly. From 10 to 11, we have house meetings individually. Our houses will gather. From 11 to 12.30, everyone breaks up and you do lunch on your own at home and get to eat whatever your favorite food is. From 12.30 to 1, we have a haunted half hour led by our ghosts, which are like our program's counselors, who will play games and just have a lot of fun with our students for a full 30 minutes. From 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, we have our afternoon lessons. From 2 to 2.30, we have an afternoon assembly with the whole school. And then from 2.30 to 3, our houses meet again for an afternoon meeting where they can wrap up the day together. And we have special events on Monday morning in the morning assembly is our sorting hat ceremony and families are invited. We will find out where all of our wizarding students will be assigned to go for their first house meeting and they will get to meet their housemates for the first time on Monday. And then Friday evening, we have a celebration planned for all of our wizarding graduates and families will also be invited to join in the fun for that. For each student, they'll get to choose a track that they want to study. Students that are five through seven years of age will be primary wizards. They're gonna learn the wizarding basics with movement, teamwork, and creativity. An example of a primary wizard class is Fingula Lumen, where they'll be introduced to spell work with special magical gloves that they'll receive in their wizarding package. They'll learn to cast spells, and on the day of that class, the theme is power. So they'll learn about having power or agency over their, their own identities and bodies. For students who are ages eight to 13, they have one of two choices. They might choose spell work, where their classes will be about potions, magic, and making things happen, such as Universi Vaporition, where they'll learn to use scrolls with disappearing ink, and they will use the special disappearing ink to cast spells of hope. The other choice for that age group is adventuring, where they'll have chances to create and explore in the wizarding world. An example of one of their classes is Recreatia Pectorum, and the students will be challenged to recreate images from Harry Potter. We would love for you to join us this year for our 2020 term. Um, you can either register with the Northern or Southern campus, but you've got to do it before June 1st and space is limited. We have amazing activities and things young wizards will not see or participate in anywhere else. And the program is designed not only to serve our young wizards, but also those wizard adults who might be exhausted and in need of a break. So please visit for our Southern campus um, UUCFM wizardcamp.webs.com and for our northern campus visit uunorthampton.org slash education and those websites will take you to our registration. If you have any questions or you want to get some more information about this program and what's happening over the summer, please contact us. So for our northern campus, you will be contacting uh, Dean Claire Nettlewort, or as muggles call her, Jessica Harward, at dre at uunorthampton.org. And for the Southern Campus down in Florida, you will be contacting Headmistress Astral Aqueous, or as muggles know her, Krista Hopper, at campwizard at uucfm.org. We would love to hear from you if you have any questions. And if you are not in Massachusetts or Florida, you can go ahead and register with whichever campus is closer to you or whichever campus you might be connected with. So we hope to see you for our 2020 term. And we are so excited to keep the magic of the School of Wizardry alive in a time of social distancing.